right guys got the bug over here at the shop looking pretty good this is ride height um it's just a little bit above the tire front and then right at the tire in the rear um so it uh does pretty good here it actually rides really comfortable um but got the uh the two and a half inch lowering spindles now for the front so and i've actually got some really good spindles on here they're the uh the gia original spindles and they've got the uh the auto union the audi mark on them um so those will be coming off i'm going to give those to greg actually so because his car is way too fast not to have some disc brakes on it because his brakes do not work very well at all and i think it's just really really quick so be good for him to have some brakes um and it'll drop me down two and a half inches lower which means i can put even more air in the front and get an even more comfortable ride out of this like this is amazing like this is really the best setup i'm a firm believer in this i mean i've had two of the old school traditional ones with my yellow bug that's that's some videos on here and my green one uh which the green bugs on there too but but there's not much talking about it actually but uh but anyways let's get started right wheel off we got access to everything here next thing we're gonna take off is the brake caliper and we're gonna leave the hose attached so we're gonna have to find a way to kind of hang it up in here so it don't fall all right so uh got the caliper off there next thing to do is because this is the driver's side we've got the speedo cable and that's what this is there's a little tiny c clip or e clip one of the two on there so that will come off and then we'll get down to the nut to be able to pull this hub disc brake assembly thing and greg showed up <laughs> so now we have this pinch nut here this is what actually holds the bearing assembly and everything in together onto the the actual spindle and this one looks to be left hand thread because it has an l on it and there were some people complaining that uh, these rods up here can't hold anything. Um, you want to nail up them? <laughs> but the, uh, this pinch nut is the exact same thing to hold your wheel on. It screws on there, you tighten it down. It's literally the same thing, except for this one has a jam nut. And I'd feel a lot better if these had jam nuts. How about you, Greg? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I just took this one off. You've got your washer here and your outer bearing and the race does have to be pressed in i've already got disc brakes so all i'm doing is changing the spindle oh and then this is the other bearing this is the actual spindle there and then that's the seal so i'll get all this off and stick it back in the rotor over there or the hub rotor assembly and then we'll mount the other one up all right guys so here is the new spindle and you can see that where this mounts at now is actually there so it'll mount here and here. So it effectively brings it up close to two and a half inches. All right, so taking these off, this is a 19 millimeter and pull out both of these and then we'll separate the ball joints on there. You don't see how it comes apart? Wow. Oh my. Oh my goodness. That's pretty easy. It really is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not difficult at all. Now, these ball joints are new they were replaced i mean they're new but they're a couple years old uh which is why the rubber is messed up you think they'd make the better rubber but if they did that they wouldn't have to sell you ball joints ever again it's true um you can always check because it's a bad one it will just flop around yeah. like it's no man's land and it'll slop. suck up and in and out you know yep. what i mean and these are very nice and tight All right, guys, so this is packing the bearing. This is the way that you do it. You get some grease in your hand and you actually push the grease as you're kneading it into your hand, you actually push it till it starts to come out of the other side of the bearing. You just keep working around, working around, working around till you get so much in there, it starts squeezing itself out. So there's the, the old race, which is not even old. You see this brand new grease in there. I mean, this thing was literally new i mean they just put all these parts on there it just kind of sat around um for a while but this is a new bearing because the other one's still stuck on that um spindle so 
that'll be great. Um, so yeah, we put that in there and then we take our seal and uh, pop the seal on the back. And on the front, we've got our front bearing that will go into the race on the front side, onto the spindle, and then we've got our washer and uh, put the nut on. And our outer bearing goes on there. It's all squished it in there. Perfect. And then this is that funky washer and it does have a little key built into it to keep it one way. So, so it doesn't start trying to back its way out. Yeah, there it is. So that will set in place. And then your nut essentially just pushes those bearings together and that's what trues it up. And it rides just on the bearing. So you want, we wanna tighten it in to set the bearing and we're gonna back it off just slightly so that we have plenty of free spin here. You see, as soon as I spin it, it starts backing itself out, so. All right, so we're gonna set it in, tighten it up where the bearings get seated. And loosen it up and should be pretty good. Oh. Make sure to get you. Make sure it still rolls nice and easy. Don't, don't, I was about to say, don't pinch yourself like I did. Yeah. That, that's probably going to hurt my finger fillers. I grab you under here. Yep. Yeah, against the thing. Run it right up to the spindle. That should work. All right, so our Speedo cable, this uh, little cap here, has a square peg and a round hole. Not just a square peg and a square hole. So just set it in there, and that was a E clip, and uh, I'll have to find it. Let me pull some of the table out here, yeah. here so I can know that we are actually square in the cap as it should be. And it is. And these caps seem pretty tight, so just they gotta be beat pretty good. It went on a lot easier than it came off. Yeah. Right, get the E clip on there. The last thing is caliper. Make sure your pads haven't fallen out, otherwise you'll be really scared the first time you drive. And then, throw a bolt back on the back side. Start the bottom first, if you ever do these, because the top one is kind of a pain. And uh, at least this one gets you halfway lined up, makes your life easier. Uh, the top one, you'll notice if you're, you want to slide in here and video it, the top one is much, much tighter. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really way tight. up in there. So. Top one just got started. So Bottom's always easier to start first. Yeah. And, uh, Sweet. I'm just glad everything lined up and went together. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. All right, here it is. Load her down first time. Where's it gonna go? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, tires are in the fender. Oh, there he blows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's why you need stretch tires. Go ahead and flip it to the rear. Hey, this is a good way. I don't even need an e-brake anymore. So we're here admiring our work. And wild things outside going, my God, what have you done? <laughs> so at this point, uh, that's where we're at. I mean, it is super tight and super stupid low. But look at the beam. Like we are, God, I mean, it looks like a quarter now. I mean, it is. It looks like part of it may be touching over there. We might be touching beam somewhere. This is crazy. This is the low low. And this is the absolute easiest way to slam a bug. And now I would have to say it's, it's probably slammed. Probably well, it, no, it's not. I mean, the most cost of it, the cheapest route is to cut the center part and twist it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's free, okay. right? Yeah. But you have to remove the beam, you have to cut it, you have to twist it, and then you're stuck, right? I mean, if it's low, if it's this low, well, it's yeah. Awesome. 
It would. You and then you'd have to do some kind of air shocks, which you're going to have to pay for no matter what. Exactly. You're going to have to pay for some kind of air kit, unless you just want to do it manually, which you could. You could save money there. The rear will go lower, because I had another guy go, that's not slim. The rear's too high. So on the rear, given this is not super low, and what's funny is now the back end's a little bit higher, not physically, but just the, the outermost part has tilted up. So it's actually brought the exhaust off the ground. But like I said, this thing can go as low as you want. But the problem is I've got the lowered sump down here, the extra sump, and you got this exhaust. I mean, you're only a few inches off the ground. You, got, you know what I love? Look like, even look from this angle, look how big the front wheels look. Oh, dude, they look huge. <laughs> they look huge. Yeah. These, you would never think that's a 15-inch. Yeah, these are 15s, and those freaking look like, like they're like 17 or 18s on here because it's so it's such a small tire. And, and that's the thing. Most people use uh, smart car tires on these. You know that? Yeah. Remember how small the front ones look on a smart oh, yeah. car? Um, and they work great. They're a little wider tread. But my, my car wouldn't have slammed. This is the only tire pretty much you can use, which nobody does. Right. Well, and this is not a factory width either. These are um, actually five and a half. So I was thinking they were sixes, but well, they're actually beam. beam, beam. Sorry, yeah. But yet, but see, normally these wheels would be four and a half. Right. I even thought about running two spares, which would be four inch, and that would actually bring it in just slightly. Right. And these tires would look perfect on it. But I mean, it looks, you know, this is my, my Honda side coming out, right? Yeah. You start uh, I think, uh, start getting I think, some tires to well, go. What's, what's funny is. You pulled this up at a meet, and whether, whether or not you agree or disagree with the style, you, I mean, I respect, you know, how people customize their stuff. You could pull this up to a stance Honda meet and air yeah, it out, and yeah. people would lose their mind. When it starts going, it gets the tires. Well, what, what makes it even funnier, too, though, is is the people that do the stance meets, they don't realize, you know where stance came from, right, with the negative damper? Yeah. Old bugs. Volkswagen. Volkswagen, because, yeah. you know, the old cars that didn't have independent rear suspension, when you slammed them, they, the, the, the tires just laid over. Tons of yeah. negative Well, and, and these will start to lay over more. There's a pop showing up randomly. But uh, what you think, it's on the ground. Like, the beam is literally almost a quarter of an inch off of the ground now. Yeah, it, it's not drivable. Right it's completely ruined. Which means you should join ruined VWs, not for purists. Purist. purist not allowed. So look us up on Facebook. Greg and I just started up a, a group on there uh, because we got so much hate over this car. And Greg's gotten hate over his car for years because how could you take a perfect bug and cut it up? And it was perfect. Greg actually took three perfect bugs and cut them up into one. Not uh, four. Oh, well. Four. They weren't worth anything back then, though. Now they're starting to get worth something. But they're worth something like this to me. I like, I like, well, and I like, I like them all. But uh, this is cool. All right, guys, we went ahead and pulled Greg's bug in here. We had some old Bigfoot and Littlefoot pedals. Check that out. Isn't that sweet? It's got the Bigfoot and Littlefoot. It's kind of hard to see. But it looks pretty dang sweet. <laughs> Just because we like silly stuff. Right, guys don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating the armor shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting high revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com